Hey, come close. You like phones, yeah? I've got some new stuff. It's really good. So GitHub released a new family of fonts called Mona Space, and why this is great will become evident in a bit. Now, I'm actually a very conservative person and I don't jump onto any new font that just comes out. As an example, within my terminal, what font do you think I am using? I'm actually using the font called Monaco, which came out in 1988. A very popular question on my channel is what theme do I use? And more specifically within that relevant for this particular tutorial, what font? And the answer here is Menlo, which came out in 1997. So the question here is, why would I actually consider Monospace to be something that I would actually want to move to? Well, first up, it's not just one font, it's a family of fonts, where Neon is what you would write your normal code in, Argon, which is a bit more angular, which can be used for something that has more authority to it, and Xenon for when you need serifs within your font, Radon, which is more along the lines of Comic Sans for more casual stuff, and finally Krypton, which has a more robotic feel to it, and can be used for autocomplete that is done using some AI. And that brings us to why five fonts. Normally you only have one font, which means that you have to sort of play around with the syntax color in order to differentiate the different kind of things that exist within your code. But when you have multiple fonts that can be assigned particular purposes within your code, you can actually understand more of the code using subliminal messaging. Additionally, these fonts have tunable parameters, and I'm always impressed how the human brain translates weight as brighter versus darker when it comes to fonts. Now, beyond the fact that we have multiple tunable fonts that work nicely with one another, the big feature over here is texture healing. And you can read a bunch about it on the official website, but it's best to see it simply by switching on and switching off texture healing within the provided code sample. Now, let me just switch texture healing off. And the thing that you should observe over here is how the stem of the eye seems a bit expanded because it has to take the same amount of space irrespective of its surrounding context. And similarly, M feels a bit squished because once more it has the same amount of space as every other character. So it has to sort of fit within that. Now, when I toggle texture healing on, you can see that I takes a more human amount of space and the M feels more natural as well. So this is just fantastic. Texture healing by itself is worth investing in a Mona space. And just to round things off, they have taken into account everything that modern developers are doing with their fonts, including ligatures, and they've even grouped them into different categories. So it's not an all or nothing option. You could select which set of ligatures you want and which set of ligatures you can opt out of. I'll wrap things there. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on these new fonts and if I should switch over to them for new tutorials. As always, thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next one.